this video is all about blush. It's some new blushes from the Balm. They're known as in-stain blushes. So these are powder blushes that are really long wearing and have sort of a staining quality on your cheeks. And so there are six of them. So in this video, I'm going to tell you all about them, show you what they look like, and I will point out which ones are my favorite. When it comes to the blushes from the Balm, they were my um, high-end Emily Award winner this past year for favorite blush. I mean, they're regular line of blushes is just awesome. So I was very excited when they put out something that kind of had that same kind of quality that you expect from their blushes, but um, even more staying power, even more intensity. Um, these cost $22 a piece, and um, with any individual product that costs that amount, I'm kind of like, ugh, this better be good, you know? It's got to be offering something unique. It's got to be doing more than the average, you know, blush is going to do. Each blush I see as kind of a range of several different shades depending on how um, how much you apply. If you do a really light application, you get one look. If you apply more, it can they can be very, very intense. It is very hard to explain. Okay, this is a powder, it's a stain. Typically when you hear about stains, it's some sort of liquid product or maybe a cream product. But yeah, these are powders that actually have um, a noticeable staying power. Um, for example, with, let's say you swatch an eyeshadow on your hand and really quickly it's like you could rub it almost totally away some of them you know there's such a light powdery finish it's like just with your hand you could rub it right off with these um, if I were to swatch these this is the one I'm wearing today and there's a look at the intensity there as I swatch it on my hand I want you to get a really close look at what that looks like okay we're seeing a lot of intense color you're maybe seeing a little bit of powder and I can maybe rub a little bit of that powder off but really I can keep rubbing over this blush and it's still there like the color is actually um, it has so much saturated pigment that it's really like getting in contact with your skin and really kind of becoming one with the skin. So that's what makes these different to me. It's not a light flaky, you know, powder with a lot of filler. In fact, there are only two of these blushes that have a little bit of a satiny finish. The rest are matte. So it's really concentrated color and I just feel like it's, it's so much more pigment and that's what's making it really kind of adhere to the skin a little bit more. It's not as soft and loose as a lot of powders, so really when you put it on you do get a lot of color. I really like these blushes. You're going to hear a lot of pros, you know, about these, but if there's a con, it's probably that you can go overboard with these. It's not foolproof. It's not goofproof. I mean, you've got to kind of know how to manage the blush and how to wear it a little bit lighter if you want to, and I need to give some suggestions. I'll put my brushes out here so I don't forget of a couple of good ways to apply these so you don't don't get too much, but it's something, you know, you've got to be aware of. The order that I'm going to go in when I tell you about these is sort of like least to most intense, so kind of lightest to deepest sort of thing. The, the packaging on all of these is really cute. It looks like the cover of a magazine. Size-wise, it's the same size as a lot of the other blushes from the Balm. It's kind of like a cardboard packaging and a magnetic closure and a mirror inside. Um, but probably the most um, natural seeming blush out of this whole collection is Argyle. It's kind of a soft pink with a little bit of warmth to it. In a minute, you're gonna. I'm going to go back to lace the one that I was demoing the swatch with, but that's, you know, a much brighter, cooler pink. This one is probably the most basic. It is matte. Um, as I've worn this one throughout the day, I don't know that I've noticed quite the staying power on this one. Maybe it's just because it's lighter to begin with, but the whole rest of the bunch I'm going to talk about have a lot of intensity, and I really feel like it's apparent that I know that that blush has hung around all day. This one is a little bit lighter, um, but it is very natural, and it's very pretty. This next one is is called Twall, and this one is so beautiful. Um, talk about rich, a lot of pink, a lot of coral tone in this as well though. Like if we compare it to the one I just showed you, see how much more um, sort of vibrancy and depth this has. This is one of my favorite shades. I mean, it's, it's the epitome of peachy pink, but with a lot of richness to it. So again, it's a matte color. It can show up just as intense as it looks really here in the packaging, or a lot lighter if you apply it more sheer. Next one, 
one is Swiss Dot, and this one is definitely your peach color, peachy orange, compared to Twall, which I just showed you. See how much more orange is in this and how much more pink is in this one? So again, a nice vibrant matte color. Swiss Dot is going to be your classic peach without, you know, pink thrown in. Now, Lace is, again, a really bright pink. This is matte, bright pink. Um, this one is what I'm wearing today, and I actually feel like, I mean, in the spectrum of all these colors, I feel like it can be very intense, but applied lightly, it really looks natural, almost as if you just went out in the sun and got a little bit of sun, like on the top of your cheeks or something. It can be just such a natural look in that way as well. So apply it softly. It looks gorgeous. Um, compared to the first pink that I showed you, see how much more warmth this has. This is cooler and brighter. So um, don't think that just because you might have fair skin like you couldn't wear some of these different shades. You just have to have a lighter hand with it. The two shades that I classify as a little bit deeper, um, they're still wearable but deeper. Um, one is called Houndstooth. And this one, I would say, is like a mauve. This does have a little bit of a satiny finish, whereas everything else has been matte. This one, I feel like, just has the slightest bit of sheen to it, but it's more like a neutral, I feel like. Um, compared to the softest pink, See how much more neutral this is, even than the, the really kind of natural pink shade, the first one I showed. If you're just the type of girl who doesn't like a lot of color in the blush, if you're not into the pinks, if you're not into the peach, this would be the closest thing to neutral that I think a medium skin tone could wear. And then the last one is gorgeous for, I would say, a darker skin tone. It's called Pinstripe. This is so pretty. This is a plum blush, and I don't know if you can tell a little bit in the packaging, but this actually has a little bit of golden shimmer. Compare it to um, Houndstooth, the one I just showed. See how much more depth this has? This would be a little bit harder for, you know, a fair, light skin tone to wear, but I think deeper skin tones, I feel like this was made for you. I think the sheen that this one would have on your skin would be so pretty. So as you can see, I think a pro of this whole collection is the wide color range. I think there's really something for everyone. If you like, you know, more of a natural look, I think Houndstooth is going to give it to you, and I think Argyle are really natural picks. If you like more of a brighter pop of color, um, Lace is a good one. That's the bright pink. I think Twall is gorgeous. Just such a rich peach pink color. And also Swiss Dot, you know, that's going to give you really straight up peach orangey color. And then, you know, a nice, nice deep option here in Pinstripe. My favorite shades out of the whole bunch. Um, my two favorites would be Twall, and so this is that one that I said was kind of like peachy pink, and but very intense. Um, this one looks so pretty and juicy and just lovely on the cheeks. And then the one I'm wearing today is another one that I love, and that's Lace. And that would be the bright pink that I said kind of looks like a, you know, you got a little bit of sun, um, but it could be more intense and look pretty on a deeper skin tone, too. I really think if you're accustomed to applying blushes and you know about, you know, really what a lighter hand can do for you, I think you're going to really be comfortable with these. If you're a beginner with makeup and you're just used to, you know, maybe using some lesser quality blushes that you really have to scrub on with your brush and then really have to try to put on, this is so much less than that. <laughs> like you barely tap your brush in. I mean, your brush will have product on it after you just go boop and then you're good to go. And a couple of application suggestions. Um, this brush, like this is one from Sigma here. See how it's kind of like tapered down on the sides and the bristles are much less densely packed, kind of a duo fiber type thing going on there. This is a great kind of brush to use with these blushes because you automatically are getting more of a sheer application. If you use more of a traditional brush, like an angled brush or just, you know, a regular classic size blush brush, something I might recommend is to go into your product, you go on your cheeks, and then when you continue to blend in, pick up a bare brush and blend it all in. That way you're not adding anything additional from this from this brush, you know, you just get the initial amount on there, blend it out with a bare brush and you'll get just the right amount on your cheeks. the staying power goes in this whole staining idea. One thing I want to point out is that 
a lot of it depends on like your foundation and your moisturizer for your skin type. Those initial products that go on your skin can really make or break the staying power of everything else that goes on top of it. You know, like your blushes, your bronzers, your highlight. If your skin is absolutely breaking down under a lot of heavy product um, on a hot summer day and you've got oily skin already and you've got a foundation that's too heavy, a moisturizer that's too thick, and everything's starting to go, it'll go, you know? Assuming you've got the right products for your skin type and, you know, your other stuff is staying pretty well, this will be there all day. I've tried all of these, even the darkest one I've used in a very sheer way, and I mean, they're all really beautiful colors. The Balm blushes are nothing new to me. I know and love their, their line of regular blushes, but these are definitely something special when it comes to highly pigmented color that really does last. Just trying to get a good deal, um, keep an eye on Hope Look. I can't guarantee you, you know, what products will be featured on there, but I know the Balm features many things from their line every so often on HopeLook.com and you can get, you know, a really good price. So that's just maybe something to keep an eye out for if you're interested. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review and have a great day. Bye.